In a previous video, I showed you how you can fill a shape or an object infinity with a pattern. And today I'd like to show you how you can also do that with text. So I am in Affinity Designer. This also works in Publisher. What we need is the Artistic Text tool. In Publisher, these are two separate tools, so you just want to look for the one that has an A. In Designer, they're stacked on each other, so you need to click the little white arrow and choose Artistic Text. And then we can just draw out a cursor here. And I'll just type my word. And I'm just going to reposition it a little bit. This works best if you've got a nice chunky text. So I'm choosing Bauhaus 93 today. And uh, I've got it made nice and big here. So now we're just going to do the same procedure that we did before when we filled a shape. And I'm going to go over here to the left side where there's the fill tool. And then I want to um, affect the fill here, and I want my type to be bitmap. That will automatically bring up my file explorer. And I'm gonna choose this gold texture here. And it fills all of my letters with my gold texture. I can use these handles to scale it up and down. I can grab this dot to reposition it and I can change uh, whether it repeats or whether I just get one instance of it. So putting it to zero will give me just a single uh, copy of this. And you can see if I scale it down, now it's no longer covering all the letters. So I just wanna bring that back up again. So the other thing I'd like to show you is how you can affect individual letters. So right now, this is just all on one layer as the word hello. So I'm going to select it again, and then up here, I'm on the Move tool, um, there's a box that says Convert to Curves. So I'm just going to click that, and you can see in the layers now, it made this into a group now. And so now I've got individual letters, and if I expand out my layer, I can see them. So I want to make every other one of these silver, so I'm going to click on this E, hold Control, and also click on the L. And then I can go back to the Fill tool. I need to select Bitmap again. Even though it already says Bitmap, I need to select it again in order to bring up the File Explorer. And then I'll find my silver texture and scale that so that it looks a little bit like it should match. There we go. And so now we have filled our text with a texture and we've also separated out the letters by converting to curves so that we could pick out individual letters in our word to change to a different fill. Thanks for watching.